I'm Becky Kanopka, Carter County Extension Agent for Agriculture and Natural Resources. Happy National 4-H Week! Rebecca Hayes has invited me today to talk about two of the 4-H core content areas, and that's agriculture and natural resources. So there are over 700 farms in Carter County, totaling over 91,000 acres. That's the equivalent of about 70,000 football fields, just in Carter County alone. And today we're on a beef cattle farm because one of the main agriculture industries in Carter County and the state of Kentucky is beef cattle. Kentucky has more beef cattle than any other state east of the Mississippi River. In Carter County, we have over 11,000 head of beef cattle. And so our beef cattle are used to produce items like steak and hamburger. The byproducts can be used for cosmetics, medicine, and leather. So behind me, you can see some brood cows that will be used to produce a calf each year. And the baby calves you can see are about a month to two months old. In addition to our cattle operations, we have over 16,000 acres of land that's devoted to hay and pastures for livestock. And so that's the equivalent of about 12,000 football fields. Forests also play a vital role in Kentucky's economy as well as Carter County's economy. Forests cover nearly one half of the Commonwealth, and here in Carter County, we have over 197,000 acres of forested land, and that's the equivalent of about 150,000 football fields. So we have over 135 million trees here in Carter County, and over 7 billion trees in the state of Kentucky. So what other ag industries do we have here in Carter County and across the state of Kentucky? Well, let's take a look. Traditionally, tobacco was king in Carter County and in Kentucky, but after the tobacco buyout in 2005, production has dramatically decreased. There are lots of poultry houses in the western part of Kentucky, and so you may be surprised to learn that the poultry industry is actually one of the top ag industries in the state. Of course, you can't think about Kentucky and not think about horses. Kentucky has over 240,000 horses and 35,000 horse farms. And the total value of our horses and horse-related assets like land, buildings, and equipment is estimated at over $23 billion for the state. We have a few farmers here in Carter County that also raise grain crops like soybeans or corn. And these are versatile crops that are used for animal feed, foods, fuels, and can be found in thousands of products. And there are lots of acreage in the state of Kentucky that have been devoted to grain crops like corn and soybeans. We also have several farmers in Carter County and across the state that raise vegetables in their gardens to sell at farmers markets or for their own family's consumption. My favorite time of the year is fall, and so we're going to spend a little bit of time talking about one specific garden crop, and that's pumpkins. Pumpkins are actually a fruit. They're a type of squash, and they are native to North America, and we've been growing them for over 5,000 years. Pumpkins have both male and female flowers. Pumpkins are yummy to eat and they are high in fiber and a good source of vitamin A and B, as well as potassium, protein, and iron. Pumpkins need lots of sun and water to grow, and they grow at nighttime. Jack-o'-lanterns first originated in Ireland. And in honor of National 4-H Week, we want you to share your jack-o'-lanterns with us. So share your pumpkins, that you've painted or carved and send them to us on our Facebook page. Do you want to learn more about agriculture and natural resources? If so, check out some of these great 4-H projects and activities that you might like to get involved in. Contact the Extension Office at 474-6686 for more information. We hope you've enjoyed learning more about the agriculture industry in Kentucky and Carter County. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call here at the Extension Office.